Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to create a simple floor plan with KDN 2021. Okay, first uh, open your KDN software and click new drawings. The next uh, I will change uh, units, you can type units, press enter, and I will change uh, insert scales into millimeters. You also can tap OP to open uh, option on the lock box and go user preference change the uh, source uh, content into millimeter and target drawing units into millimeters you can click ok again i will uh, type uh, bs to open uh, drafting settings and in here you can click uh, object snap and we can select all this object snap you can click ok now uh, I will correct line start from this point and you can move to the top you can set into 1500 you can press enter the next you can go to the right here you can use a scroll mouse to zoom in and zoom out and you can press a scroll mouse to use pens in it I will move uh, to the right here we can set into 6000 over to the bottom here 1500 and you can type C to close this line command okay I will move uh, this object to drag here you can type M press enter select the object and then move for the objects in here I will press F7 to hide guard and now we can use uh, copy tools to copy this line object so to the top we can set into 1200 we copy again to the top 2800 you can press enter okay i will create line start from this uh, middle point to the top here and you can use a trim command you can tap the r press enter twice and click at this line and also after this point we can use a uh, copy command again and you can copy this line objects to the top we can set into 2700 and 4700 you can press enter okay in here i will use trim command you can press uh, shift button hold and select this line objects to use extend tools and i will cut this line objects you can use uh, copy tools to copy this line object to the top you can set into three 1300 you can press uh, enter button so it will be correct at this point and now in here i will use uh, copy tools to copy this line objects to the left here we can set into 2700 and now we can copy this objects to the bottom here to 1000 you can press enter button okay Use uh, trim tools to cut at this point and also in here and you can select this object, press the delete button to cut. Now I will use uh, trim tools so we can cut in here and at this point also in here we can use uh, line tools to connect between these uh, objects. Okay and at this point now I will use a join command to join these objects. You can select. And also at this point, you can press enter button to apply. Now I will use uh, offset tools. You can tap offset, enter. With uh, offset distance, you can set to 150. You can press enter button, select uh, these objects, and click inside. So it will be offset. We Correct again, click at uh, these objects and move into these points, and also these objects into here, it's to the top, and in here to the top. Next, at this point, you can click and move to the top here. Okay, now you can use uh, trim tools to cut these line objects. You can cut one by one. Okay, click again at this point, in here. We will undo and now I will click at this point. At this point, okay, you can select one by one to cut these lines. 
I'll turn this point and then I'll turn this point okay now I will create a door for this floor plan you can press the line and cut click at this point and move to the top you can set into 700 you can press enter now I will create arch okay from center point click at this point and move to the bracket I will set into 770 and click at this point we can use the copy tools to copy this object to drag here 20 and then I will create line start uh, from this point move to here move to the left here 40 and move to the bottom 150 move to the drag here 40 and you can click at this point you can copy this uh, object from uh, this point and you can move into here okay now I will use a group command to group uh, this uh, door you can type group press enter group name I will set into door and for create group click new and select uh, this all objects press enter again so it will be quite new door group you can click ok you can click uh, these objects and you can set colors I will select uh, colors and use uh, this color you can click ok so it will be changed for colors now in here I will use uh, rotate tools to rotate uh, these objects and then I will use uh, copy tools to copy these objects uh, from this point you can move into this point okay the next uh, I will click at this point and use uh, rotate tools to rotate uh, these objects and you can move from this point into here in this point you can press line and I will use uh, copy tools to copy the last objects you can move to drag here 100, 1200 and you can use a trim tools to cut okay you can see the next also at uh, this point you can use uh, line command to create line in here and use uh, trim tools to cut sorry we can use trim again to extend this line and also cut at this point you can use uh, trim again to cut to this point okay now in here we can use uh, rotate tools to rotate these objects and now we can use uh, copy tools to copy from these points into here Okay, and in here we can create line start from this point into here and I will move the last objects move into this point we can set into 1700 and you can use trim tools to cut these objects and cut in here you can use uh, rotate tools to rotate these objects and then move this uh, door start from this point then move into this point okay the next uh, I will create window with the rectangle tool but first I will cut at this point you can use a trim command tap the R press enter twice click at this point to cut also at this point and then we can cut in here okay we can create a rectangle object start from this point with the dimension for Length I will set into 1300 enter and for width we can set into 150 click at this point we create line stop on this point into here and then you can use uh, copy tools to copy the subjects to the bottom here. okay now we group again type group press enter group name window and for new you can select these objects press enter again and click ok i will change uh, this window color into this color and you can use uh, copy tools to copy this object from middle point move into here okay you can click at this point and then you can rotate you can move from this point into here also I will copy from this point into this point 
and the last you can rotate move from uh, this point into this point okay we already created this window and i will use hatch tool to hatch uh, walls you can tap hatch press enter in here we can use the default nc31 next you can click add to pick uh, internal points you can click at these points you can also click at these points so it will be uh, correct in the insert so in here we can delete this line objects uh, you can use trim tools to cut uh, this line and then you can use extend tool to extend you can tap the add plus enter press extend near Okay, so it will be automatically extend. The next, we try to hatch again. Press enter. Pick uh, internal point. Click at this point. Okay, it's okay in here. At this point. The next in here. At this point. Okay, it's already flat hatch. You can press enter. Now, I will change scale. Like, we can set into 25. Click per view. So for 25, press enter again. You can select uh, this hatch. You can change in your scale. I can set into 500. So this for 500. And for color, I will set into this color. You can press escape button to plus. Okay. Now uh, we can create text into this floor plan. We can tap M text. Press enter. Click at this point, and then I will set in here into room, room one. You can click outside, and the text it will be small. You can select, change uh, text height in here. We can set into 250. Click at this point. So this for 250. I will set into 150. Okay, this okay for 150, and we can change the colors into yellow okay it's for yellow and you can move to this point you can use uh, copy tools to copy these objects like into this point also in here at this point okay in here and this point and at this point okay you can double click to change, like we can change in here into terrace. Okay, in here we can set into garage. We move tool to move into center point. In here we can set into living room. Okay, in here set into kitchen. In here, set into toilet one. In here, we set into dining room. Okay, can move uh, to the center point. In here, toilet two. And in here, bedroom. Okay, the next uh, we can create a dimension, you can tap D, press enter to open a dimension style manager, we can create new and I will use annotative, click continue. For class field, I will change into architectural text and we can change again lines in here, color I will set into select color and select at uh, this color click ok and it also at this point we change into this color for symbol arrows and this for text you can set text colors into greens you can click ok click close ok in here we can change for scales i will use annotation scale this and i will 
add new scale I will set in 200 500 and the name scale list we can set into one divide 500 we can click ok ok now we can try we can change in here into one 500 use a dim link to create a dimension linear click at this point into here so this are for one five hundred. You also can change again, like we can set into eight, and this here we set into one hundred, one thousand. Okay, one thousand. The name one d five thousand. We can click OK, OK. We can delete in here, and we can change one thousand, and use the dim link to create a dimension linear click at this point and move into here so it will be more bigger you can see you also can hide uh, this tolerance you can tap D click modify and go to primary units and we can set position into zero click OK close we create again dimension linear from this point into here click at this point and then on this point to here the next in here we can correct a dimension linear on this point to this point sorry from this point into here okay click again from this point we can click at uh, this point and now from this point into this point the last from this corner point you can set into this point uh, undo sorry dim link from corner point you can set uh, this check you can delete dim link from corner point and then we can move into this corner point you can use scroll mouse to zoom in and zoom out okay you also can click at this point and move into here the next uh, from this point into this point and from this point into this point Okay, now we can set from this point into this point. The last from this point, and I will click into this point. Now we can move in here. Okay, click again into this point. From this point, we can click start into this point and the last from this point into this point okay now uh, we already create this uh, simple floor plan with uh, KDN 2021 if you have any question about this uh, tutorials you can comment below this video